I'm Ken Whiting, and this week on Paddle Tales, I'm heading down two of America's biggest waterways, the Missouri and Mississippi rivers. She's a blowin'. The wind's just blowing too hard. It's, it's gotta be blowing about 30 miles per hour right now. It's not safe for us to be continuing on this adventure because flipping out in the middle of the Mississippi would be no joke. I'll see you soon for another, hopefully more successful paddling adventure. Paddle Tales is produced with support from NRS. Aquabound, Wiley X, and Clipper Canoes. Well, I know there's great paddling around here, but this is my first time in St. Louis, so let's see what else there is to do here. Well, when you come into St. Louis, the Gateway Arch is definitely the first thing you see, and so it seems like right place to start a tour. Going up, going a long way up. Well, I can't think of a better first view of St. Louis, but from the looks of things, there's a lot more to see. This is definitely a town that loves being outside. With the Mississippi running right past downtown, a riverboat cruise is another great way to see the area. Well, taking a break from all the walking we've been doing, going for a ride. You know, you're, you can never be too old to ride a Ferris wheel. Hey, look at that old guy on the Ferris wheel. Ha 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 ha. If I could come back as any animal, River Otter would be high on that list. When you think you're going to a museum, this is not what you expect. It's way cooler. Now, if you love sports, well, today we've got a Cardinals game, we've got a Blues game, we have a Supercross event, and there was a marathon. Speaking of which, I gotta get my blues tickets for tonight. The wind has finally died down and my opportunity to paddle into downtown St. Louis is here. And what a morning to do it. This new day on the Mississippi has got a completely different feel. The wind is light, the sun is out. It is just a spectacular morning on the water. It's almost hard to believe that this is the same river that I was battling to make my way down a day before. Well, I could not leave the mission of paddling into town unfinished. And so here we are again. It's a beautiful but brisk morning on the Mississippi. And things are about to change a little as the canal enters not too far ahead. And then we're gonna get into, well, some urban paddling, some probably some big boats, some bridges. The Mississippi is gonna take on a very different feel. This should be cool. The nature of the Mississippi hasn't really changed. Approaching the city of St. Louis, the Mississippi is still the Mississippi. It's still a, a massive river with pretty strong current. But what's changed is the environment. No longer are we in the wilderness, but we're in an urban industrial setting. When most people think of you know fantastic paddling experiences, they they probably don't think of paddling through industrialized sections of water. 
But the interesting thing is these urban sections of waterways are often the coolest paddling environments. These are the things you don't usually see when you're doing a river run. <laughs> when you're paddling in a busy waterway or uh, industrialized or an urban waterway, you really have to have your head on a swivel. You have to be aware of big boats. You have to be aware of strong currents. You have to be aware of unnatural objects that may have fallen into the water during construction of bridges or any number of things. You just have to be on a higher alert. Once again, you combine that with current and it's not a great beginner environment. This is a place where being able to read water, being able to move your boat effectively from one side of the river to the other, these aren't just nice things to have in your arsenal. These are pretty much essential pieces of the puzzle to navigate these types of water safely. You know, I've said a thousand times, sunsets and waterfalls, they're awesome no matter how many times you see them but I really have to add bridges to that, especially when you go under bridges. Then you really, you, you have to get appreciation for the engineering marvel that they are. I love paddling around bridges. One of the neat things about floating the section into downtown St. Louis is the bridges that you go under. You've got the oldest bridge on the river, which is like, Oh, well over 100 years old. And then you've got an almost brand new one. And they are so different, but they are both almost works of art. They're, they're architectural masterpieces in their own way. Oh, cool building too. What I love about paddling down an urban waterway is the totally unique perspective you get of the city. I mean, you just do not see that side of the city unless you're on the water. All of a sudden, there's stuff all around us. Got tugboat pushing water up the channel. Cool, colorful walls. Gotham City. We've got Gotham City here. Paddling through a city is one of the coolest things to do but you gotta keep your head on a swivel. And the arch, to top it all off. The river just gives you a different perspective on things, and it's the same with the arch. Coming into the arch from the river is just such a neat way to see it and the city, and I am so glad I got to finish my mission to paddle into downtown St. Louis. Well, mission accomplished. I'm glad I didn't give up on paddling into town because it really is exactly what I had hoped it would be. Such a cool mix of water, industrial scene, city scene, such a neat perspective on a place. You just, unless you get out out on the water like this, it's hard to appreciate it, but awesome time. If you're ever in the St. Louis area, definitely get on a trip with Big Muddy Adventures and see the city from the water. That's all from me. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode from St. Louis. And well, like always, subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already, and we'll see you again soon for another paddling adventure. Maybe not as cool a paddling adventure, but a paddling adventure. <laughs>